In this video, I'm going to show you CSS Button Styler. This is an easy to use Dreamweaver extension that allows you to create custom CSS buttons to look exactly the way you'd like. CSS Button Styler makes it easy for you to design your CSS buttons as well as manage those buttons for the websites that you create. So let me show you how easy this extension is to use. Here's my real estate website and I have a content us page that I need to add a CSS button to. So I've ordered into the form elements and the functionality and now I'm going to insert my button. First I place my cursor where I want the button to be inserted, then from the web assist menu choose CSS button styler, insert CSS button. This launches the CSS button styler interface where you can choose from a number of presets. Here you can see there's a number of presets for you to choose from. Each style has a different appearance including some with rounded corners as well as some with borders and others with gradients and shadows. Now these presets are provided for you to, as a starting point so that you can find a style that closely matches what you're looking for and then you can use the editing interface to make further customizations to get the exact appearance for your buttons. If you'd also, you can also choose new from blank if you'd like to start from scratch and add all the CSS properties yourself. I'm going to start from a I'm going to start with a preset that I think looks good with my design. Also in this interface I'm asked where I want to store the CSS for my buttons. You can choose to have the CSS inserted into the head of the document that you're currently working on or you can also have it inserted into a CSS file that you specify. You can choose an existing CSS file that you're currently using for your site or you can specify a new CSS document that you'd like to use for managing your button CSS. CSS Button Styler also includes a live preview on all of the interfaces allowing you to see how your button's going to look when it's inserted to your site. This includes the ability to preview the hover state. So now that I've specified my preset and where I want to store my CSS, I can click the Edit button here to launch the Edit button interface. From this interface, I have all the CSS properties that I can customize for my buttons. First, you are taken to the Type tab where you can modify the button text. And I don't, need, I don't need to make very many changes on this page, but I'm going to change the weight from normal to bold. Now, my, now you can see that my button text is bold. So depending on what style you're looking for, you're going to want to choose the categories that apply to you here. If you'd like to change the button's background, you have the ability to specify any color that you like. And I'm going to choose a color from my existing design. Or you can also specify an image that you'd like to use as the background for your buttons. You can also specify a gradient if you'd like to specify two different colors for your buttons and you can choose the direction that the gradient will go. The block category allows you to customize how the word spacing, letter spacing, the alignment, and the indent options for your button text. You can use the box category to customize the width and height of the button or also change the dimensions by adding some padding or margins. For my example, I'm going to add 150 pixels for the left margin of my button, and that's the only changes I need to make on this category. You can also customize the border if you'd like to change the appearance of the border in your button. For my button, I'm going to change the border color. Again, I'm choosing a color that's used on my existing site. On the outline category, you can specify an outline that goes around the button element. For my example, I don't want this, so I'm going to remove this. And that leaves just the border around the edges of my element. You also have options here for, sh for, custom for adding a shadow to your button. I'm going to add a slight shadow, again, choosing a color that's used in my existing site. And you'll notice that the shadow that I've specified is not displayed in my live preview. In order to see this shadow, I need to click the preview and browser link here. And here you can see when I preview my browser that there's a shadow around my button. Now I want to make one last change to this button before I'm ready to insert it to my page, and that's the hover color. As you can see, it's blue and that doesn't match the existing styles of my design. So I need to choose the mouse over category. And here I can change the background color to any color that I would like. Now that I've specified a different background color, I can test that in the preview to see if it looks the way I want it to. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm ready to click OK, and I'm asked if I want to save a preset. 
So for this exact for this situation, I'm going to want to use this preset every time I add a button to my real estate website. This way the buttons and this way all my buttons that I add to the site will look the same. So I'm going to check this box and enter real estate for the name. Once we've entered that information, click OK to save the preset, and you'll return to the CSS button styler insert button interface. And when you're ready to insert this to your page, simply click OK. And now you can see that my insert button has been inserted onto my page. So that's how easy it is to use CSS button styler to manage buttons and design those buttons for your sites. CSS button styler has remembered that this is the button preset that I'd like to use for the real estate website and when I use this tool on another website it'll remember the buttons that I choose to use on that website as well. So this makes it easy to manage the buttons that you use for your websites especially if you develop multiple websites for different clients. Hope you found this feature tour helpful. For more information about CSS button styler and other Joomla extensions made by WebAssist check us out at webassist.com. Thank you very much.